friend welcome to this video today i will show you the border between mozambique and south africa uh, as you know i do not speak i don't speak english i do speak portuguese and i'm trying to tell you the funny story in a funny way in order to show you what do we have got here i'm risking my life in this tracks look at this track look at this track oh i'm afraid i don't want to die well this way they, here we have got two ways one for people normal people and normal cars and this is the big way the way that the tracks used to go through you know what I'm saying so today I want to sh try to show you what we have got here in the border I will show you some of the things that we do have in the community right here but the border I will try to show you from this side I don't know if it is going to be possible or not but I will try I'm located right now in Resano Garcia if you know Mozambique just search just google it and uh, you will find what uh, Resan Garcia is and then you will understand what I mean right now I'm trying to go to cross over here okay let me show you what I mean these are the offices that we do have got here in Mozambique this is the main offices and this is the bigger border this is the way that the trucks used to go through uh, because they they cannot they they uh, the government decided to not mix the ways between people and heavy cars like uh, light cars and heavy cars so this is the reason why they used to to cross over here and they form the line there i would like to show you from there okay they are forming the line right here and i'm afraid to cross over and go over this this place here so i will i will end right here i will end right here so there inside they did not allow me to film and i will show you only the community so you will understand what i really mean let's go this border right here allows mozambique to allows people to get into mozambique or and or go out from mozambique that is the reason why this is the uh, this is the most used uh, i think so it might be the most used border in mozambique uh, we have got three borders to to go into south africa or, or to come out from south africa one border uh, it is here located here in uh, in resan garcia and another border is the second one is located in namahasha namahasha uh, takes us into Swaziland Swaziland which is Eswatini right now and yeah which is Eswatini right now and then from there uh, from there you, you cross and you go in because as you know you, you might know it uh, Swaziland is located inside of South Africa that is the reason why uh, they, they, they have a border inside to go into South Africa and the third one is located is located in Punta Douro there in one of the Mozambican beaches right there you know so that is the reason why you have to come here and see what we have here so here in Resano Garcia you have to be you have to be you have to be wise because if you don't some of the robbers some of the people they rubber people right here and you have to be clever you have to open your eyes otherwise you will lose your things uh, during that time like November December and January January mainly in December in December it is not too much easy to, to, to walk here because a lot of people who have been deported from South Africa they used to stay here and when they stay here they, they doesn't have nothing to do they don't work they then they don't do nothing uh, and then they need money so yeah yeah oh he, he recognized me so he was greeting me uh as they don't have nothing to do what they used to do they they they, they rubber people okay they 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 do criminal things right here so you have to be careful uh so if you live here you will not suffer as much as those people who don't live here will suffer uh, 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 in the rubber's hands because everyone here knows each other okay he knows each other and by because of that it it gets hard or difficult for for them to succeed in their activities so if someone rubbers you here you know because you know the rubbers by their names and then and then you know even by the way they rubber you and then you, you will you will go to the police station 
and tell them that I, I've been, I've been, I've been kidnapped. My things inside of my house. So this is. Do not judge my English, please. Just understand by the intention of me doing this okay this is a mountain place okay it is located in a mountain look at these tracks these tracks are waiting i mean this this one and that one these two tracks and that that track here they use mozambican border because mozambican border uh, from mozambique uh, no 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 they use mozambican port like they go they use ships from mozambique okay because it is cheaper for them uh, i don't know how to explain you in english because i'm limited my english is is, is limited i cannot explain you very well so this is the community as you see right here do you see those are the places that they sell goods they like uh, like pods okay and clothes you know so that this is the place and up there they are residents like their houses uh, over there okay so this is the main way F from this way like this way this way up until there it, uh, is the trackway so the the people's way is that one that one from there people used to go from there you'll see this track will come over here look look this is the this is what i meant okay so let me show you the way that people normally used to cross you see that car that car will go through another way so that is the way from where these people i mean from where people used to go into south africa or come out from south africa so this is the main way and this is resano garcia you see this is what i mean okay this is what i mean and here i will try to show you some of the things that will excite you uh, i'm risking my life man so you have to understand that i'm risking my life do you enjoy this if you do please consider to subscribe like and share with all of your friends okay so this is the place that they sell things and people used to stay from here and that place where is located that guys there is the place where uh, the buses you can f get the buses to go into maputo and uh, and so on so this is uh, this is the place that uh, i wanted to show you so let me show you my face look it's not that much easier to tell stories about mozambican places because the places are not registered and if you go to the internet and try to find something about the places you want to find the complete stories like uh, another places stories that you can find on google if you google it you won't find you can find the name of the place but you won't find a complete story uh, we have that problem in mozambique our places are not registered so like that you cannot tell stories in a scientific way so you have to depend on your eyes depend on your mind de depend on the on the stories that people told you that is what i'm doing right now and this is a colonial place where viva yeah this is a colonial place where uh, they have built a similar house houses because they want they, uh, before mozambique take control of the country this country belonged to portuguese people you can you, you understand yeah this this country belonged to portuguese people and they ruled us in the way that they wanted to and then they were controlling this one and these houses here these houses here uh belonged long long time ago to those people who were working here who were important for this their system and and so on so right now i mean nowadays it doesn't belong to them cfm a company by the name cfm use it to take care of this one of these things right here and uh, nowadays uh it, it uh, i don't know who does it belong but cfm doesn't want this anymore doesn't use this like their properties but in the beginning cfm were the biggest company the biggest company that we had here because they controlled uh, ships and uh, ships they controlled ships trucks uh train also even even highways i think so so they have got a lot of money they had i don't know if they still reach up until now but uh, they 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 were richer okay so 
if you like this kind of content and you want me to grow up telling you stories teach me english because i want to tell you the funny stories in a funny ways the, the, in a funny way the interesting stories in a funny way in order to connect you uh, with this that i want you to know okay just uh, click on like subscribe and do one more thing follow me okay follow me for more videos i'd like to see you in the next video hugs i'm gone